Hello everybody and welcome back to Colony Survival, where today I'm going to be putting another water gatherer in, I think. I don't know why they're taking so blinking long. I don't know whether it would be better as well to maybe have some of the taps. I'm not sure. Why are you going back and forth? Have you not got a crate or something? I'm struggling to understand why one of my water gatherers seems to be going home. I you literally are you trying to go to a crate that did someone I'm I'm oh oh right okay we need a grocer we need a grocer with these guys that's what it is so in my fishing hut let's get a grocer and then they won't need to go back and forward that's what's causing some of the issues so putting an extra water gatherer in isn't what's going to help here putting an extra grocer in is what is going to help here well i'm glad i know now I think we've got an extra dude, yeah, because he's walked all the way back there and all the way back here. And this is the the um, benefit in following people around. Because he's going to go to this grocer's table and get his stuff. How wonderful. And now they don't need to walk five miles to get their things. So where are you off to? Oh, you're going to be the grocer there, but having the, even having the grocery table there with a grocer was enough. So that is going to help a little bit. I'll see whether not having the walking back and forth is enough to sort the water problem out, or whether we need to do more about that. Uh, so the other thing we've got, so we're looking for anything with a red stripe across it. So at the moment, water and beeswax seem to be the thing that they're running out of all the time. So I want all of the food production issues sorted first. What I'm thinking is maybe we'll employ one more person. In fact, we'll employ three more people and we're going to put in some more beehives. Okay, so we went with like a four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four by seven or something there. So we could just do the same here. It's going to be food, it's going to be a beekeeper. I'm not too worried about space at the moment because actually... I was a 4 by 8 4 by 8 was a bit of a waste of space though, but never mind. As long as it kind of fills the, uh, the space nicely, I don't really mind. And then I could put in another four by eight, another two four by eights in the middle there. So we could get six bee keepers in here, I guess. Okay, so now I want to see how my little uh, crossbow men are doing over here. So hopefully the zombie problem shouldn't be a problem anymore. They've got 200 crossbow bolts, we've got 200 bronze arrows and 300 sling bullets. If I wanted, I could have more slingers on the wall as well, just to help out. But they seem very well under control, honestly, and they are getting these guys from miles away. Yeah, this is a nice spread of guards, I think. The only other thing I could do is maybe put some guards over in the corner, over there and over there. Actually, to be honest, slingers over there might just work quite well. Just to plink them as they come past. Might do that, actually. I'd need more beds for that, though, wouldn't I? Because we're back up to 100 colonists, which is very good. We're back up to 450 calories. We're using 201 of those calories a day, but our happiness is up to 34 again, which is very good. So everyone's getting about 2,000 calories each, which is fantastic. 
Um, so really this episode, I want to work on some building. I want to work on making sure that the water supply is good and we're making sure that the wax supply is good. Those two things. Uh, then we'll maybe do things like put back in the dyers and all that sort of thing. But yeah, I got a little bit uh, off track because I was trying to just save my colony last time. Got a little bit out of hand, didn't it? Yes. So really this should be its own room. I, I feel like at night I can leave them to their own devices now for a bit. I will just every so often pop out there and check. But I feel that mostly we're good. I want to get all the internal walls in here done. Get this building completed. And then I'll work on the other building that I'm going to make, which is going to be a cookhouse. So. I feel like I needed... Oh yeah, it was lanterns in here, wasn't it? Um, let's just put that wall in there. And then we had like this and... That should be filled in, and this and this. I think it was like that, wasn't it? And we just had lanterns lighting up the entranceway, and I thought that was really pretty. We've got quite a few lanterns, actually, that I can play with, so... Let's pop those in. Like that quite a lot. Maybe we could have lanterns, like, up above the doorways. In here, because then that would light both rooms. Yeah, I quite like that. Don't even need any extra light, I don't think, for those. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, and in here... I think we'll go with the pillar idea again. I'll maybe move some beds around for that. Get up. Get up. <laughs> go in the other beds. Now I technically don't have enough beds for everyone. Did that wrong. Have we got enough lanterns uh, to finish this off? No. It's fine though. We'll sort it. Uh, probably we'll eventually have lanterns in these doorways as well. So that's going to look nice. I, I like that idea. So I'm going to take these beds up and move them a little bit. And probably we'll need to move some of the beds in the other room as well. I might even just make them double beds or something. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'll see how I feel. Everything's probably going to be moved by the end of this series, let's face it. I don't mind having some, like, double beds, but uh, it annoys me sometimes to have to... Oh, do we not have any... I can't make any more beds because we have no copper nails? What? Do we have no copper? No, we have copper. Let's make some nails and then I can make some beds. Obviously just very busy right now. There's 101 beds. 101 Dalmatians. Alright, so happiness is back to minus five, so clearly something has run out. What? Berries again, really? Okay, so one thing I, w I was going to say was that I've got room for quite a few berry fields if I put them along here. So I think that's what I'll do. Because we clearly do need more berry farmers. Let's just put a few 5 by 5s down. Okay, so that's not going to work very well. Um, we're going to need some like double wide spacing or something just to make it fit properly. Maybe double wide spacing for all of it. I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, that won't work either. I think I need a single wide space there. Double wide space there. Yeah, that just about works. I mean, it's, it's not the most wonderful spacing in the whole wide world, but it will do. I could also uh, put some more along here. I could probably fit some in. No, they need to be five wide, actually, so I probably can't actually fit it in there, but having a few more berry fields is definitely going to help. I've got minus five unemployed. I need four more beds. So I run out of nails again. There we are. Right. So four more beds. Oh, no. And I'm going to make a ceiling for this place. Hurrah! could have double beds either side of the door just to fit that in properly and that looks quite nice I think. Uh, did I have any more lanterns just to finish off my little... no, no. It's an expensive torch apparently. Yes it is but they look so much nicer don't they? They look amazing. Tempted to have them in all the windows too. That might be a little bit extra though. One thing I could do, you know how I've got all the planks in the windows, is I could um, replace that with like brightly coloured curtains made out of coloured carpet. How amazing would that be? This is something I wanted to do for a while. Oh, you know what? I need to check my supply chains and I also need to check my science. Because I might be done on these life science bags. Still not. Oh my goodness. Linen undershirt still not being made? Is that what it is? We have enough linen for flax. Okay. I'm going to recruit my new dudes for my berries. And then we'll maybe have a look at a second tailor. I need another bed for that. Oh, we've got some beds being made. Cool. Cool, cool. I have double beds on there. We've got 109 beds and we need to recruit one more colonist just to be uh, 8,000 calories because I've got good happiness right now. Oh, that's so nice. I'm very happy with this now. It seems like I think the water issues are getting sorted out now. Yeah, we've got a couple of buckets of water. The fishermen are not having to come all the way back all the time. We've got more lobsters. They're not making cooked lobster. I'm going to just change that because we do have a few lobsters now. So why don't we just like maybe try and keep 10 in stockpile if we can. Okay, let's keep five in stockpile. See how that goes. Um, we are still struggling for water a little bit, so I'm just going to go and put some more water gatherers in. I, I may even need to extend the pier, but it wasn't quite enough, I don't think, just giving them a grocer down there, but I think that's going to help considerably. And obviously the more water gatherers I have, the more that's going to be important. Okay, so... Uh, maybe two? And a couple more crates. In fact, don't, don't we put more three more in? Well, they will definitely have enough then. I hope that's not too much overkill. We definitely have enough fishermen. I want everyone to have a crate behind them. So it's almost like they've got their own tiny little town down here. But hopefully, well the. The thing is that they, the zombies can get in the water and they can get up to these guys from the water. 
And so if you wanted to be particularly cautious about it, you could try and block the zombie's access underwater. You can jump in and maybe build a wall under the water so that, you see, they can get to me here. I'll just show you with this red zombie. And he's going to try and get to me. He's going to try and get up onto the pier, which he's managed to do. So, not good. Not good at all. However, most of the time, by the time they've, you know, gone back home for the night, they're usually pretty safe. And it takes them a while to get back down there in the morning as well. And normally, normally we've got rid of all the zombies. However, if it does get to the point where I'm worried about it, I'll stick a slinger right at the top there. And they can just, like, yeah, probably a day slinger, honestly, up on the roof of that building. And then they can just sort out any zombies that pop along. We're doing very well now. I think the, the crossbow guys are doing really well. The, uh, the the archers are doing super well. I'm very very happy. Uh, if I if I wanted to just I could double up the crossbowmen if I did find that it was getting a little bit hairy. But at the moment I think we're doing really well. Okay. What else can we do at night time? Um, roofing I think is going to be the next thing. I've got loads of gold gold ore as well, you know? I need to sort this out. It's something I didn't have to look at before, but I think I'll want to now. Ooh, we've got so we need to recruit some more guys again. Why was that? Did some of them die? Because I thought we had the full... I probably just put more jobs in. It's fine. Okay, so we need a, a refi... We need a finery, refinery thing, whatever it is. A finery forge. We do have one. Lovely. Wonderful. You can go there. So what are you going to make? You're going to make steel and gold. Fan, blinking tastic. And obviously, we're going to need another bed and another colonist. Um, is there any room in the bunkhouse? So put another one bed. Or is it completely full? I think it might be completely full. The only thing I could do... Is make these doubles. Do that. That would give us an extra bed, which we would be able to then recruit an extra person. And they can make us finery. Yay! Now, one thing that I've done, like, is I've put a lot of... I think I've put grocers in kind of their bed areas. I've put grocers in the mines, and that's absolutely fine. I think I need grocers in quite a few more areas um, just to stop them constantly wanting to go to the grocer. I mean, it would make total sense to have a grocer like in the cookhouse. A grocer, well, we've got one here, so that's not too bad. We've got two grocers down here. Why do we need grocers in what's effectively a bunkhouse? Where you want grocers, uh, I've realised, is they're not going to go to the grocer while they're sleeping. They're going to go in the middle of their work day. Which is unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate, to be honest. Uh, so what I'm going to want to do... Why is that there? Need to finish off this underground bunkhouse a little bit better as well. But I think what I, I'm going to need to do here is to remove these and put them in more convenient locations. Because... They're just going straight up the stairs, straight past these grocers. They're not in a good position at all. Ugh. By the way, I'm just so you know, if you've been screaming at me that certain things are wrong, whatever, I'm stockpiling these. It's my it's my coronavirus stockpile of videos, okay? <laughs> I might have mentioned, it's just in case I get sick. Um, I have stockpiled a few videos and and you know they just go on the channel just on 
well, not not just in case I get sick. They will go anyway, but I'm going more ahead of myself than usual. Okay, one probably like outside the house here would be a good idea. We've we got one inside the house. No, but that's perfectly fine. So anybody from this field area can go to this one. Actually, you know what would be better than that stupid grocery thing there would be to maybe have it here. That way, both of these um, honey fields, they can just go around to there. They can just go around to there. The guys from here can go up here. The guys that are closer down here can go to that one. I'm actually going to take this one away. Because that one's slightly more central. And this one can go... Over in the workshop sort of area. So I'm thinking... Probably about here. So all the people in the fields can go to that, and also all the people in the workshop can go to that. We might need a second one, not sure yet. What we do need is to replace this grass. Ah! There we are. But the other thing that I would need to, to explain, I mean, I know that I'm explaining something that happened like a week and a half ago. But while I'm stockpiling these videos, I'm being a bit lackadaisical and getting things up on the channel as well. Again, it's just... I'm worried that I won't be able to get all of my stuff done if I'm sick. And it does seem like the British government's response is that everyone's going to get sick. And then they're going to make like a herd immunity. That seems... I, I'm not going to tell you opinions or anything else like that on on the matter. But that is what they're trying to go for. Which means there's a good chance that I might get sick and then if I've got a respiratory infection that's probably actually one of the worst things for trying to get recording done. Again, it doesn't matter for editing too much. There we are. Make the place look pretty. Do my normal, my little chest trick as well. My chest trick is that I, if I want to dig away around a border of a farm, I get a chest out and then I can still dig without it interfering with too much stuff. And I can just put grass in around there, make it look nice. Sort of defi- oops, sorry I ruined your crop there. Define the borders around everything. Roofs on, finish rooms, all this malarkey. I think it should be a bit better. With, yeah, we do seem to be doing a lot better for food, a lot better for everything. Now I've sort of moved the grocers around, made them a little bit more efficient. So that's that's definitely a learning point for me. Never had a colony this big and never realised quite how important it is to have the grocers in the right places when the colony does start to get large. I'm kind of blocking access points for them, but I'm like, use the darn door, not the windows, please. I don't care if the windows are more efficient. It's just not realistic, is it? Like I say, I'll probably replace these with like dyed wool eventually for like curtains, but at the moment they've got kind of wooden blinds going on. That's what I imagine them to be. I'll just dig out this area and put some grass down there as well. Just trying to, you know, make it all a bit tidier and nicer. Hopefully now the Finery Forge is up and running, making me gold and steel, which is kind of the next uh, the next stage for everything, really, isn't it? It's getting the, the steel and the, and the gold and getting jewellery and things like that, and that's going to help me with my population. Because at the moment, I'm basically a negative 110 for my population size. Which is kind of scary. Sorry, give my seat a bit of a wiggle there. I know that comes through on the on the microphone. I 
I don't want to go around all these berry bushes and put grass in under there, but it's it's fine for now. I'll just go around here. I'll just do this little bit, okay? A little bit at a time. Everything is just looking so much nicer. So yeah, it's kind of like, I didn't mind early on all the grass being different colours. But I'm kind of trying to at least have, at least within a certain field, to have the grass all the same colour. Make it look a bit more uniform. A little bit more neat. Yeah. I could have it all made out of stone, but I just feel like grass is just that little bit more, I don't know, natural looking, I suppose. We're doing well. The The calories are going back up again, despite the uh, colony size. The happiness is at 24. It looks like everything is available now. I will be able to give them a tiny bit of lobster as well. They've all got 2,000 calories. Great. The cake, the meme is dead. Oh. The cake is real. It's not a lie. Sorry, I had to say that. I'm sorry, okay. Right, so... We're looking really good now. I'm super happy with this. So I, I want to basically now make sure that my... Ah, my life science... See, now everything, now all of the, the bottlenecks have been cleared out. I think there was a water bottleneck. There was a beeswax bottleneck. There was a bit of a wheat bottleneck coming in. And there was a flax bottleneck. So there were four separate bottlenecks I needed to sort out. And also... There were people walking way too far to find grocers. So all of those things have been sorted now. And I'm really happy with that. Once we get to 150, we can we could have an even bigger camp. Because we that's what we need, an even bigger camp. So lead bullet. I'm not making any of those. We're making gunpowder pouches. No, we're not making any of those. And you know why that is? Because we need a gun a gun gun room, don't we? We need a gun making area yeah uh, where are we gonna put that then well how about we take the workshop and we put it over here we've got two gunsmith shops actually we have jewelry now as well they just randomly made jewelry and undershirts very nice I'm going to assume that, uh, hopefully not uh, incorrectly, that they can handle the zombies at the moment. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put that in there. I know it's two to one crate, uh, but, but I don't care. <laughs> okay. And next, I'm going to put a gunsmith shop on either side. So they're going to make lead bullets, which require lead. Saltpeter and charcoal. Gunpowder and linen pouch. So let's just check that we've got lead, saltpeter and charcoal. We should do. And like I say, I, I'm, I'm going to start using this. So we have lead. And we have lead rich galena. We have a little saltpeter, but I think we need to start going to mine that. And it was lead, saltpeter, and charcoal. We have a little bit of charcoal made from the kiln. Pretty sure it was charcoal that said, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go have a look at the kiln and see charcoal is from firewood. Okay, fine. Coal ore and firewood for coke. Okay, so I think we're going to need to up the charcoal a little bit to maybe something like 50 or so. Because I feel like we're going to need that a lot more nowadays. Um, hopefully I've got enough wood still for my tree farm. Seems to be pretty stable, the wood, actually. So that's fine. I'm just going to check how they're doing against the zombies quickly. Make sure they're okay. 
There are a lot of zombies, but they seem to be pretty good. They're getting a little closer to the front than I would like. However, the crossbowmen should have it if they do come through. They won't be able to... They have to go all the way up here. Before they get through. You know what? I really think we're going to probably need a couple more uh, slingers or crossbowmen or something like that. Probably by tomorrow night. Especially if I'm employing any more colonists than this. We are on our absolute limit, I think. Um, we still have enough ammo, but the arrows are running a bit dry as well. So I want to up those. Okay. We're nearly at daytime, though. They just about lasted, but we need more tomorrow. Are you guys making the arrows? No, you're making these. Okay. Crossbow bolts. Are you making the arrows? No. Who's making the arrows then? Ah. Uh, they're gun shops. That's a splitter. That's a block maker. Um. Oh no, it is these guys. It's making 300. They are short on feathers. Okay. In that case, we need more chickens. More chickens means more barley. We do have enough barley. Just. Chickens and barley are going to be a problem. So what I would probably say then is we'll keep that the same, but I won't put any more archers in. I will put crossbowmen and slingers in instead. I'll just... Keep it even. Okay, we're going to need more beds. Oh, my life. What I would probably say is the underground bed place needs to be... Do you know something? I'm actually going to do something a little bit controversial, possibly. I made them a nice, like, house. But I don't feel that they actually need a house here. I just feel they need, like, basically... I can tear it down and we can have like basically a mine here. Oops. Same as the mine entrance. I don't feel it's necessary to have a big building here for that. And I will go downstairs and dig out a new bedroom so we can have more people. Um, so I want probably four more beds at least. And two of them are going to be more crossbowmen. I do feel that each of the different types of people, ha they all have their own... All the different types of uh, guards have their own advantages and disadvantages. Like, the reload speed, so they're slightly more DPS on a crossbowman. But not that much when you factor in that they've got an 8 second reload time. And the fact that you have to use much more expensive materials to make their ammunition means that actually slingers do still have quite a, a good role to play. Okay, you're done with some of your stuff. I mean, you can make more of it. Make more lobster. <laughs> make more stew. Make more cake. Make more luxury meals. Let's get more calories going. Like 100 buckets of water that stay perpetually hot. Make 400 fish stews or whatever. You know what? I, there's no reason for you to be sat there doing nothing at all. But the problem is I don't want them to be doing one thing at the expense of another thing. So happiness is 22 right now. They can maybe start having some jewellery and undershirts. Just a touch, just a tiny bit. Wax tablets. We are running out of wax tablets. They're made in the workbench and we're probably out of something for them. I don't know. That's going to that's gonna cause them to be a little bit unhappy for a while. <clears throat> I need a drink of juice. 
It's going to cause him to be a bit unhappy for a while. <clears throat> Sorry about that. My throat getting a bit dry. I'm trying to record, as I say, trying to record a lot. If I come on Twitter, like, I'm recording this on the 15th of March, and I come on Twitter on the 16th, like, <laughs> then you know I did the right thing by stop piling all these videos. Not that I'm, like, you know, doomsayer or anything. I, I'm sure I'll be fine, but... So basically, we're just going to have kind of the same idea as we've got on the mine here. Ugh, but it's all wonky compared to that. Eh. Not good. So I either pull the mine back a bit or this forward a bit. I'm not really sure which. Otherwise, they're going to be unsymmetrical and then I will be really unhappy. Or asymmetric. I need to redo the stairs to the mine anyway, so honestly I could probably just pull this back. To about here. Oops. And just have this going on. Yeah, that way they're less likely to bump their heads and stuff on the... Yeah. That's going to be way easier. Way, way easier. So we basically have this going on. I might even need to fill some of the ceiling in, but I, I would feel a lot better... with them looking a little bit more symmetrical and I don't mind spending like 10 minutes sorting out all the stairs to make that happen. Because that is how OCD I am. Actually, I really don't think I am that OCD. I think most people would probably want the, the things lining up. I just don't feel, didn't feel like that house was A, necessary and B, attractive at all. There is a bit of a long way there. I could push the whole mine back and move the grocer back a little bit as well. I'm wondering whether to redo this all in uh, in brick. Hmm, not sure. I could do it. I could do it. In st I mean, stone would be what we've got the other stuff in at the moment would make kind of more sense. Um, okay, so I'm going to need to probably finish this another time because what I want to do, I know we're really, really getting short and they were struggling yesterday a little bit on the, on the old walls, on the old zombies uh, and we are just coming in to night time. Everyone's going to bed. So, I really need to put these beds down. So I'm going to do something that I really hate doing. And put them outside. I just need them that much, basically. So, I want to recruit another four colonists. We're at 32 happiness, so that shouldn't cost too much. We're at nearly... A million food. Well, we were for a minute there until we recruited, but we were at nearly a million food there. So we're doing really well for the food economy. I've got that all really sorted, bang up sorted that. <laughs> okay, so I want to put in a crossbow guard because I think the arrow guards are starting to run out of resources. And with two sets of crossbow guards there, I think we're going to be pretty good. Uh, they've got 250 crossbow bolts. They're doing really well with that. Because they're not relying on chicken feathers for it. If I... 
I'm kind of, I'm trying to like toss up in my head whether to put more chickens in or not, or whether just to reduce the amount of uh, arrow guards and make them more crossbow heavy. Because we've got a lot of arrow guards right now. I'm honestly thinking those two might be better as crossbowers. Okay, we've got the, the cavalry's arriving. Back up is here. So I'm hoping with that bit of backup that we will be able to hold off the zombie hordes much better. How are we doing with our arrows? We, we are going through the arrows quite a lot. Yeah, they've got this, like, mega under control, though. I do think those those two could be crossbow. Maybe. Regardless, they seem to be doing well. They are slightly low on the arrows, but other than that, we're, we're pretty good. And as I say, if they do run out of arrows, the crossbow you guys will just take over. Right, so, cabbage fields, how are we doing for cabbages right now? We've still got loads. <laughs> still, no problem with cabbages right now. I'll need to put one cabbage field in probably at some point. And this area is starting to look a lot nicer. Uh, as I say, I'm probably putting in like a little L-shaped building here. I made out of brick with a little thatchy roof like we've got over there. think so anyway I mean again like it's gonna be re whatever I put in this area is gonna be super cramped so I'm wondering whether I should move all my cook stuff to like a different area maybe I should like build another big area that I can put another building in that's the cookhouse it doesn't need to be here here could be any kind of different fields or whatever I wanted It's a it's a bit of a, a a bit of a thing really, isn't it? It's a bit of a a difficult one because there's a bit of a tiny little space. Whereas these bigger spaces over here are much nicer. Much better places to build. Okay, I think I've made a decision. I need a bigger area for my cookhouse, okay? So. I'm going to do something a bit drastic. Probably going to wait till night to do it. I'm going to move all the chickens and the beehives into this area here as much as I can. So I've got six lots of beehives, two lots of chickens. I'm going to move them and I'm going to try and be a little bit more, um, butt them up together a little bit more. Because if you see, look, the, the, you could, you could have put them right next to each other and they would have been fine. And it's exactly the same with the bees. It's like they're meant to be put like butted right up next to each other. So if I do that, It's almost like they're supposed to be on certain squares. Yeah, that's absolutely what I'm going to do. Absolutely what I'm going to do. We don't have enough linen again for the candles. And we've run out of flax again. Again. But yeah, definitely going to move all the cooking stuff up here. I'm going to make them a little cookhouse. 
The only issue is I've got to move all of this somewhere so that I can move all the beehives and stuff down. Okay, so I think what I'll do to start with then, I'll start in this corner. And I'm going to put it, we've got like zero unemployed at the moment. I'm going to put in uh, beekeepers over here, right? So it's going to be four by, in fact, it could be three. No, we'll do four by seven. Or four by eight even. Ah, I don't know what to do. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven would be the absolute maximum anyway. Okay, four by seven it is. I'm going to remove this one. So hopefully this guy will then be like, oh look, I need to go and beekeep somewhere else. Ha -ha. And I want to see how he puts his bees, his beehives down. I'm going to take these away as well. He's going to go build some more. See, he's building... You know, isn't that interesting? We could have done three. I'm going to remove the area again. I'm going to remove all the beehives again. Because we could definitely do, oops, we could definitely do three by seven. Oh man. Just learning how to make this all very efficient. Let's get three by seven in. And then I probably will leave a gap between them. And then I'm going to put another three by seven in here. I'm going to remove another area. And then I want to see how these two interplay with each other. And it looks like 3 by 7 would be ideal for the chicken coops as well. It looks like it's all very much the same. And you notice how the chicken coops are all in the same place as well. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen here is that they're going to do... Hopefully, yes, look, they're doing 8 into each corner there. There we are. I wonder if there is a more efficient way even than that to, to do things. Could we do five by seven or would that be too much? Or something by nine, so. Five by... Five by seven is too small. I honestly, yeah, I honestly think these three by sevens are pretty decent. I mean, I haven't managed to get anything with more than, we can't do nine by three. So yeah, this, this seems to be fine. So I'll just take away, take away a B area every time I put a new one in. And then we can start clearing that area. Oops. So I'm going to need two more. Take them away quickly. What I want, what I'm gonna need to do here is take away some of this stuff. Oh, the ferrets are awake. I'll maybe put them over here by the mine because that's an area that's gonna stay just used up. Um, so I want to. They are having a massive fight. I'm so sorry. What will be happening there? Just in case you're wondering, Siri so will be trying to drag someone somewhere where they don't want to go. And they will be very unhappy about this. 
So I'm going to put in one more beehive over here then. And then I could put chickens on this side and then move the herbs somewhere else entirely. Which I think I'll do. I'll probably do that because I'm going to... Yeah, you know what? The herbs could go um, in front of the house here. I'll build a little house with three tiny little herb gardens in front. And it will look amazing. And we'll have beehives and chickens over here. So how many have we got now? We've got one, two, three, four, five... We'll do with a sixth one and then we could put lots of chickens in there okay i want to move the stoves now I'm just always looking to move things and try to expand and uh stuff and things ah <laughs> stop doing that Okay, I'm gonna remove all this and get some proper grass in. Um, I will put dark green grass in at least up to the path. And then what I might eventually want to do is to remove every, remove all of the uh, grass that's a different color and, and change it over. I, I don't know really. Eventually we'll just, we're just gonna replace it all with purple carpet. You know this is gonna happen, right? Why can't I place anything today? Oh my goodness. So bad. Okay, so this should be enough to not really need to move the uh, the actual baking stoves. And we'll get in our sixth bee area. Because there's a lot of people wanting candles. Scented candles are all the rage lately, you see. So, I, I mean, that might have put a little bit of a delay in some of the beekeeping unfortunately moving it means that they've got to rebuild them and that does introduce a tiny delay we definitely need more chickens one thing with more chickens though is we need more barley to feed them how are we doing for wheat we have a lot of wheat I think I might change one wheat field over to a barley field. And we'll see how we go. It's kind of annoying. I keep running out of space for things. Eventually what I'll probably have is I'll have like... Air, proper big areas for wheat, proper big areas for flax, proper big areas for barley, but I'm going to need to make those areas and I don't have the time right now. I need the feathers. So I think we're going to try and expand the chicken coops, have one more barley farm and then eventually I'll, uh, move, I'll make a proper big barley farm area and we'll change all the barley things back to things like flax and wheat. getting rather big and complicated now isn't it need to replace that dirt block as well uh dirt block let's replace you i have many many blocks of dirt here like i say i can't place anything today apparently okay so the next thing to do is we're gonna need to, to take up all these now i let i did let them grow so we'll actually get to properly harvest them Hopefully, anyway. Five, five, eight. Five, five, eight. I believe when I'm harvesting stuff, I need to make sure I've got an empty hand because that way it goes into my hand. It seems as if I don't have an empty space on my hotbar for these to go into. 
I lose the product. It doesn't go into the main inventory. So you want to be careful of that if you're doing manual like harvesting. I may well have lost some of that wheat as well for the same reason. But never mind. We're good for food. We're, we're like over a million food now. So I don't think that that's going to be too much of an issue. I'll keep an eye on the wheat production and the cabbage production. I'm aware that we don't have any production of cabbages. And that could cause a little issue later down the line. I'm going to need to replace all this grass as well. And I, I wonder whether I should just get a construction worker to do that. Or whether I can't be bothered waiting for them to, to get in and do that. And I want to do this overnight. Um, oh, it looks like everyone's awake now, though. All right, let's let's do a construction zone then. Um, whoa. Oh, it's the logger again. Why does the logger make a punching sound? It's... Oh, it's so bad. Okay, so I'm going to make a construction zone, a digger area, and then a construction job. Okay, remove that. So we've got a construction job with the digger area. So while they do that, and I'll give them a little crate by them as well, because that means they don't have to move. There you go, have a crate. I will get all of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Alcanet stuff sorted. Ah, oh, no. I'll put the hollyhock away and then I'll be able to... That's better. I keep forgetting to keep that one space clear on my hotbar. Although I'm not so too worried about having loads of alkanet and hollyhock and stuff like that. I'm more worried about getting chickens in, to be fair. So this is great. So my construction worker is working on that. I can work on this one while they work on that one. We'll see who finishes first. I'm going to put grass back in over here because I think it's going to look a lot nicer that way. I still haven't done the fishing hut roof or the roof to the workshop. They will be done by the end of the Let's Play, I promise you. If, that is, if that's what the entire last episode consists of, they will be done. It's just that I feel like maybe it's probably more important to have the, the colony working properly than to have all the houses looking pretty. I know, I know. There we are. I'm going to start filling in. Hopefully, actually, I, I, I'm slightly worried that that might... They might start digging that back up. I'm kind of interested as to whether if you fill something back in, it gets... It's a good It's a good for science. Whether anything that I filled in after the construction job was uh, done will get removed as well, or just the stuff that I asked originally. Very interesting. Seems to so far be only the dirt. And then he's done. Okay, yep, yeah, no, that's fine. I will remove that construction job. You can go and do whatever you want to do, matey. And I will also remove that crate. But that was pretty good. That meant I didn't have to do it. He did one area, I did the other area. Wonderful. And that's probably what I'll do in future. I'll get some constructors working on some stuff and then I'll do some stuff either building or, or whatever I whatever they can't do okay so now we've got a lovely area here 
I can start putting chickens in. I'm going to actually, I've still got a construction worker, so let's put a construction area in here. So digging area is this big. And construction job goes there. I can add more. I can add as many as I want. But at the moment, I've only got one dude. So that's why it doesn't take... It, it would take a lot uh, less time if I didn't just have one dude. And then what I want to do is put in these chicken pens. Oh, I really want to put them in here. No, you know what I need to do? I just need to make sure that they're in line with the B pens. That's all I need to do. So... Food. Beekeeper. No. Chicken farmer. Seven by three. Seven by three. Seven by three. Seven by three. Now apparently we need four more people, but that's fine. I'm just going to get rid of uh, these two chickens up here. They're going to be so much better spaced as well. And then it would probably be a very good idea if we put in some crates. Um. There we are. We've got a grocer over there. So that's fantastic. And these guys are all going to eventually move. They're in a bit of a weird place right now, but they'll all eventually move. And then I'll just put in the last, there'll probably be one last beekeeper in there, one last chicken keeper in there. Doing a nice job, mate. Um, I can fill this in while he's digging because, as I say, it only seems to take the blocks that are initially there. So I'm quite pleased with that because it means I can, I can fill things in while he's digging, which is fantastic. And once he's done with that job, he can go and be a beekeeper or a chicken keeper or something. Okay, I'm going to need some more beds. I think they had a good time. I think they were okay up here. Yes. The uh, the food's amazing. The happiness is pretty good. I haven't even looked at the science in ages. Health increase? Ooh. Okay, so once we have enough colonists and we have life science bags, then they are going to be more healthy. Wonderful. And then we've got lots of banner radius things and lots of, and we've got coffee, writing, ink, and empty bucket. Unlocks the writer, writer's desk. Requires papyrus, future paper. How do I get papyrus? And how do I get coffee? Coffee beans and papyrus. I reckon they must be in other kingdoms. So what do we need to work on now then? We need to work on these advanced science bags, I would say, and matchlock guns. So gunpowder pouches. I need someone to make me gunpowder pouches. Let's go and have a look at that then. It's probably in the gun thing. In the gun store. So, um, gunpowder. Oh, yes, I need a saltpeter miner. I'll go put a mining job in for him. And probably a bedroom down in the mine as well. Oh, so much to do, so much to do, so much to do. I still need to sort out the mine stairs. I've got roofs to put on, on buildings, but I feel like we're getting there. It gets fancy down here, doesn't it? It's kind of fancy, but also not. Should we make them a fancy bedroom in here? It looks like I've already started. Okay, so I need a saltpeter miner anyway. That's not how to make a saltpeter miner. There we are. We've got crates down here. No, they're going back and forward with crates as well, so that's not a good thing. 
Not at all. That's very inefficient. I don't mind them going back upstairs for like a grocer or something. But it might be a good shout to have a grocer here. Maybe a grocer on every level of the mine, honestly. So there's a grocer there. I think I'm going to want more grocers in here, honestly. I think I want one here. And I will want one downstairs. I think it's worth it for the extra efficiency on the miners. One down there as well. I feel like this should be like a little wider, honestly, but... Uh, I suppose it's, it's not too bad. I feel like the whole bedroom needs to be pushed back one. I mean, I could definitely do that. I can definitely make the mine really, really pretty if I wanted to. But I'm not so sure I do. I never come down here. So anyway, so they're going to just go down there and, and make saltpeter and stuff. I'm going to put in a bedroom. I'm going to try and make the bedroom nice. I need to go back three. Oh, I'm on an hour and six already. Okay, I'm going to quickly just mine this out. Pop the beds in and then just leave it at that, I think. Maybe we can do it next episode or something. But I feel like we're getting there. We've got the crossbows now. We've got the gold. We've got the jewellery being made. The science, like there's barely anything left to do in the science now. We've got so much of it done. I feel like it's really good. So um, yeah, I'm just going to get the beds and put them in. And then we can make it pretty later. She says not putting the right amount of room for the bed in there. Okay, now we have enough room. I'm rushing now because I know I haven't got much time. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm right down the mines. This is the worst possible time this could happen. I'm trying to sign off the episode as well. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And this is why I should put proper stairs into this mine. No, 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 I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I'm going to need some crossbow bolts as well. What happened? Guys, what happened? Did you get, just get overwhelmed? They're all still there, though. What on earth happened there? I'm not certain. We've got really good... Um, Food and we've got really good happiness, so that's fine. But that was worrying. I'm just there trying to make some beds and stuff in the mine, and suddenly I'm hearing people dying, and I don't know I don't even know now what happened. So that's slightly worrying. My guards are all still there, but people were dead. I think. I have absolutely no idea what happened there. However, good job I did come back up. And I will, I, I promise, I'm sorry this episode's been so long. But I do need to get rid of these guys. Get away from my colony! Oh, really? Okay, that's good. I mean, the daytime slingers and crossbowmen and, and bowmen and everything like that, they, they work pretty well with, like, sort of very low numbers because it's only, as I say, stragglers that they're in to get. Right, anyway, I'm going to sign off. So today, we moved all of the beekeepers and all of the chicken farmers over, and I think they are still a little bit shy on barley, so I'm going to have to put a lot more uh, barley farms and things in. I'm probably going to have to do an expansion next episode to get more farms in. Um, but anyway, got them all moved over so that I can use that area at the back there. I can make that into a double wide area and put a cookhouse back there. Move all these guys into there. Then I put the roof on there. 
I removed that uh, nasty looking building at the front there because I just didn't like it. And everything's starting to look a lot nicer. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a thumbs up below. If you would like to see more, then please subscribe and I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.